Welcome back to Movies TV Mad. You can follow me on Twitter at Movies TV Mad. Wow! Doctor Who has just finished its Comic Con at Home panel and there's a, quite a bit of information, exciting information. I will give you my opinion. Now, Block to Who has done a whole article about it. We're going to read it, then respond to it. So let's go, fellow Doctor Who fans. Doctor Who Series 13 at San Diego Comic Con, what we learned by Peter Nolan of Block to Who. Block to Who's rundown of all the news from this year's Doctor Who panel at San Diego Comic Con. Thanks to today's Doctor Who panel at San Diego Comic Con, the countdown to Series 13 has truly begun. The panel featured Jodie Whittaker, the Doctor Man, did Gil Yaz Khan, John Bishop Dan, and head writer Chris Chibnall. And the question and answer session hosted by Melanie McFarlane gave us some tantalising new information about the upcoming series. We already knew some details. Series 13 officially started filming last November. Its production time will be approximately the same as with other recent series, but with COVID protections meaning each scene takes substantially longer to film, it will compromise of eight episodes. It was originally announced as being intended to be broadcast in late 2021, but with the major covet that potential lockdowns could further delay it, and we knew that John Bishop was coming aboard the TARDIS as Dan. But what new information do we have now? Dan has a last time. He's Dan Lewis. He also looks set to be the TARDIS new resident funny man, but in somewhat more physical way than Graham with Pratt Falls featuring in the trailer. So basically, um, Dan Lewis is just a replacement for Bradley Walsh's Graham. That's it. It's a copy and pasting. Um, it'll be interesting to see what the differences are, but I don't think there's many. Older guy, you know, I think the character's going to be gay. I think he's going to have a partner who, who he leaves behind. But apart from that, he's pretty much Graham. The Doctor and Yaz will have been travelling together alone for some time as Series 13 begins. In fact, in contrast to Dan, Yaz is now clearly the experienced and conf confident time traveller. So she's probably not going to be happy about the, her, hers and the Doctor's party being crashed, as we know how she feels about the Doctor. And by the way, disclaimer, Doctor Who and Yaz stands are not going to like the fact that we're in a fully, we, we got a fully kind of packed up TARDIS again with new companions. We'll get to that. Series 13 will compromise the longest Doctor Who story since 1985's The Trial of a Time Lord, with all eight episodes being part of one huge epic adventure, which also means Chimnal points out lots of cliffhangers. So this is very interesting and very exciting, by the way. One long story arc continuing from episode to episode, and there will be cliffhangers as well. I don't know if every episode will feature a cliffhanger, but that's interesting. They'll be joined in their adventures by recurring character of Vinda played by Game of Thrones' Jacob Anderson. Vinda spends time aboard the TARDIS with the team, but also has his own spaceship. So this is interesting. Is um, Vinda going to be an alien? I, I, I would love an alien companion. If I was running the show, the Doctor would have one other companion, and it would be an alien. But I like the fact that this character, Vinda, has actually got his own spaceship, which is exciting. The series will feature some returning monsters not yet seen in the 13th Doctor's era. Not many more specifics were forthcoming, with head writer Chris Chibnall even laughing about his own reputation for keeping the show's secrets close to his chest, literally nothing. He laughed when asked if there was anything he wanted to reveal about the upcoming twists and turns of Series 13. Jodie Whittaker did reveal that she's a huge admirer of Michelle Gomez's performance as Missy, who will surely only add to the fan desire for them to someday meet. Yeah, that'd be interesting if she turns up. Doctor Who Series 13 is currently filming, intended for broadcast later in 2021. It stars Jodie Whittaker, blah, blah, blah. So, basically, we were all very excited for this, and some of the details are exciting. Um, I did have a laugh uh, late yesterday when people were spreading rumours about David Tennant turning up at this convention. This was never going to happen. I mean, it doesn't mean that David's not involved. I doubt it, but you never know. Listen, there's many, many people, fans, who are not happy with Chris Chibnall and what he did with the Timeless Child storyline. I'm willing to let it develop. Obviously, I don't know, but it, you would imagine this, this whole series story arc 
must surely have something to do with the timeless child or are they skipping the timeless child storyline for this season one thing we didn't hear about or asked about was the rumors that this is going to be Jodie Whittaker's doctor's final season could it also be Chris Chibnall's final season nobody knows I would expect to see the Ruth doctor I would expect to see Sasha Dewan's master but they didn't mention that of course he's not going to tell us everything so what we know is we're going to have two companions, no, three companions and the Doctor. Now, the new companion played by the Game of Thrones alum, whose name I've already forgotten, I think it's, is it Vinda, the character, who we're going to see? But anyway, he won't always be there. He has his own spaceship, but maybe he follows them. I don't know. It's going to be interesting. It looks like he won't be in every episode. Um, now, will Dan be in every episode? There has been some mumblings about this. I don't know. It's very, very interesting. So I'm happy we got two new companions. I didn't really want Yaz and the Doctor traveling alone together. I know um, Yaz and Doctor Stans would have loved that. Listen, as I say, this is, certainly hasn't been my favorite era of Doctor Who. I think season 12 was more good than bad. I think the arc was fabulous. I think the standalone episodes were poor. I'm still waiting to see more from Yaz as a companion. I wanted to see more from Graham and the other companion whose um, name escapes me now, uh, but they've both left anyway. Um, but yes, new companions, same doctor, a whole, now this whole thing about having one arc, I think's very important. Nobody knows what this arc's gonna be. So the rumors have been that Jodie Whitt Whittaker's doctor is leaving after this season. Now all the doctors apart from Christopher Eccleston have done three full seasons. She's done season 11, season 12, it wouldn't make sense if they go through these traditions. Now, now uh, Russell T. Davies, actually, if you count the specials, did five series. Uh, we had four seasons and a series. Now, um, Stephen Moffat did season five, six, seven, eight, nine, and he did six seasons. So there's not really an accurate number to say, well, Chris Chibnall's going to stay for this number, but they've averaged at least five years. But does that mean Chris Chibnall's staying? Not necessarily. Listen, there's even been rumours of or people talking about Doctor Who ending. This is my opinion on this. Doctor Who shouldn't end. You just need to make great Doctor Who. Since Chris Chibnall has taken over, it's been very inconsistent. I think we can all say that. Um, and the writing for Jodie Whittaker hasn't been great. But, as I say, I don't mind the Timeless Child arc. I'm not one of these people who's angry about it because I just want to see how it ends before I respond to it properly. But I'm happy about the full arc, that's exciting. Having cliffhangers, that's exciting. I'm interested in these monsters that Jodie Whittaker's Doctor hasn't seen before. That'll be interesting as well. So hopefully it premieres later this year, and I'm at least looking forward to seeing this. But if you're asking me if this is Jodie Whittaker's final season, yes. And go down the bookies and put some money on this being Chris Chibnall's final season as well i want you to comment down below like share and subscribe and um, click the little notification bell so you never miss this perfection and i'll see you again in the next video